Hello, welcome to Fall Sports Awards 220, recognition for the high school teams for the participated this past fall. Um, usually we have it at the login, and unfortunately this year due to the pandemic, we are going to have to do it virtually, uh, but we'll make the best go of it. Um, my impression of the kids from this past fall was that I thought you guys did well. I thought you did great, um, considering everything that was um, put on your plate this year with regards to kids having to quarantine, to um, having teams that did not have a lot of numbers. Uh, boys tennis team this year, we had a couple boys that popped out to help out to fill out the team. Um, I thought day school stepped up extremely well this year. was very proud of you guys and um, you did a great job. Um, but um, it's something I'm very proud to be a part of. And um, here's what we've got for fall sports for 2020. Hello, I'm Tom Dragon. I'm the uh, coach of the boys high school soccer team for the year 2020. Um, what I'd like to do is recap the season and then also have a little highlight on each of the guys. Um, and then obviously we'll hand out or should say we'll announce the awards for uh, this year. Um, as far as this year goes, I think the kids did extremely well. What was nice on my end of coaching the team is that um, the boys definitely came in prepared to uh, train every day. Uh, every time we played in a game, uh, the boys were very good along the lines of uh, mental attitude was great. I think our preparation was pretty darn good. Um, the kids just stepped up to the plate and uh, definitely represented day school extremely well. Um, I'm very happy on how the season went. I think it's a great building block for uh, going into next year. Uh, so um, players on the team this year, uh, first one I'd like to recognize is uh, Farouk. Uh, Farouk did a fantastic job for us, uh, had him playing a little bit of utility player, uh, played it back a little bit, ended up as a flanking midfielder. I think he did a great job. The more uh, Farouk understood on uh, how to play the position, the more effective he was. And um, uh, he was definitely a, a very bright spot for the team. And uh, Farouk, I really enjoyed having you on the team and really we're looking forward to next year with you. Uh, Austin Boyle is the next player I'd like to recognize. Austin, you did a great job this year. Your uh, soccer experience is uh, next to nil, and your learning curve was just sky high. Um, very pleased with how you did, uh, what you brought to the park every day. Um, I think you did a fantastic job, and I'm um, really looking forward to next year with you. Uh, Jesse Kunst is our next player that I'd like to recognize. Um, Jesse, you did a fantastic job. Uh, Jesse, uh, you ended up obviously played central mid for our central back force and uh, or as I call as a sweeper and a lot of responsibility. And as a freshman, you uh, achieved, you went above and beyond. Um, very pleased with your performance. Also loved how you um, uh, matured as a player this year too. And um, went from a little bit of uh, immaturity to um, over exceeding every expectation that I had. So uh, Jesse, you did a fantastic job. I uh, look forward uh, to having you next year. Uh, Nate Phillips is our next player that I'd like to recognize. Uh, Nate's freshman this year. Um, we were expecting Nate to score some goals and obviously he did and um, just stepped out into that role really, really well. Um, the thing I loved about what Nate brought to the park this year is that uh, Nate definitely did um, listen to everything that was being told, um, and I really enjoyed having him. The thing that we're going to see Nate as the years go on for the next three years that he's just going to mature uh, exponentially as a, a forward. And um, I really do believe that by the time he finishes at day school, in his senior year, he'll be one of the top uh, strikers in the city uh, easily. Um, Karim is our next player. I'd like to recognize Karim did a fantastic job. Um, he, Carm, the thing I loved about you is that you played without question. Your attitude is, what can I, what do you want me to do? And I'll do it. Never complain. There are a few times that I know he was wanting to come out of the game and I did not bring him out because he was doing so well and just did a tremendous job. Love your attitude. Love what you bring to the park. And, um, uh, I just really love having him on the team. Carm, you did a fantastic job. Uh, next player I'd like to recognize is Marshall Kraft. Marshall is our goalkeeper this year, and Marshall, I'll tell you what, your improvement from last year to this year was tremendous. Uh, the thing I feel bad for you is that for your position, not bad for you, but for your position, which is that as a goalkeeper, 
Um, you make a mistake, uh, it unfortunately is a goal. Uh, everybody else has that luxury. If they make a mistake, there's always someone else behind them. But Marshall, you did a great job for us this year. You definitely kept us in uh, a lot of games, gave us a chance to win, gave us a chance to compete, and just did a tremendous job. So Marshall, fantastic job this year. Um, and definitely look forward to having you again next year. Uh, next player I'd like to recognize is Sam Hart. Uh, Sam ended up playing as an outside back for us this year. And the thing I loved about having Sam there is I did not have to worry about him. Uh, definitely fast. His, your decision making this year, Sam, was great. Everything was uh, just tremendous. I do know that we had one game that um, that you had to step it up quite a bit. And um, you had to adjust very quickly during the game as far as tactically as far as what you were supposed to do and yeah, you stepped up to the plate and did a great job so uh sam was one of the reasons why we did so well defensively and did a fantastic job and look forward to having him back again next year amar's uh, next player i'd like to recognize amar uh played as a central midfielder for us uh, unfortunately mar uh ended up having to miss a couple weeks uh due to covid with uh, being a contact but uh when we got you back it was obviously the thing i loved about having you in that mix is that you just picked up and kept plugging along and uh amar is one of the reasons why we were so stable this year and um, i love your attitude love your work ethic and just everything that you bring to the park you are extremely enjoyable to coach uh love having you on the team amar and obviously i've got you for another year Laith, um, Laith, I absolutely love you as a player. Um, you bring a lot of energy, a lot of spunk to the position. Um, I know there were times, Laith, during this year, you thought that I really did not like you. Absolutely not. Laith, I love you as a, a person, love you as a player. Uh, the thing that I loved what you brought is that you definitely were edgy at times. You're very demanding and all that bit. And um, you, you, I tell you what, Laith, you did well. Laith ended up playing. You played as a stopper for us, and what a fantastic job you did. And Laith, I remember seeing you as a player a couple of years ago, and then I saw you this year. Holy smoke. Talk about a massive improvement. So uh, I know I've, I've talked to your travel coach a bit about what you brought to the park, and uh, I'm very excited to see what you bring next year. But, yeah, Laith, uh, love your attitude. Love that you're willing to put in the extra work and the whole bit. and um, uh, Fantastic. I just absolutely loved it. Um, Max, you're the next player I recognize. Max did a tremendous job for us. Uh, Max went through a couple years of um, learning how to play, learning how to uh, just get settled down and uh, to adapt to the soccer environment. And I'll tell you what, Max, um, you did so well this year. Um, I am very pleased on how you did. Um, you stepped up to the plate and you actually earned yourself a spot where it's like, hey, you know, I could definitely put you in and I did not have to worry much about anything at all when you were on. And uh, you improved tremendously as a player and uh, definitely look forward to having you on the team again next year, Max. Uh, Hamsa, you're the next one I'm going to recognize. What a fantastic job you did this year. Uh, you ended up playing up front, played in midfield. Um, I know you love playing up front and then... Um, when Amar came back in the mix, we had to put you back in midfield. And the, the what you brought to that situation was tremendous because you could tell you were wanting there. But the one thing that was the overriding um, thing for me that really impressed me about you is that your attitude was whatever's good for the team. So um, I love the size that you bring, your quickness, your uh, love of the game and all that. It's just so very good. Hamza, love having you on the team. I uh, love having you in the mix and um, definitely look forward to having you again next year. Just a tremendous job this year. Okay, next player I'm going to recognize is Shane Hart. Uh, Shane, uh, absolutely love having you in the mix. Shane was fantastic um, as far as I know he was wanting more time than what I gave him, although he was just in a rotation, but his attitude was good. I could tell there was a frustration there, but he was very classy about really keeping it under control. Uh, I think we finally found the spot where Shane was definitely able to complement the team as an outside back, but then he had to fill in the roles of midfielder and did a tremendous job there too. Um, Shane, I wish I had more time with you, but uh, unfortunately we don't. Um, you did a fantastic job this year, and uh, you definitely left a mark on me that I'll definitely remember you for a long, long time. Uh, what a fantastic player you are. And Dylan, you're my uh, last player I'm going to recognize. Uh, Dylan's senior this year. Uh, did a tremendous job. Uh, did not have to worry much about Dylan. Dylan uh, worked really hard the whole season. Uh, love the attitude you bring to the team. Uh, not just to the team, but just everything you bring 
uh, to the team on the field, off the field. Love your attitude, your personality. Uh, you're definitely one of those players that the reason why it's enjoyable to go to practice every day is because you're in the mix. So, uh, Dylan, I love you as a player. Did a great job. Uh, you will definitely be missed. Okay, on our awards now. Uh, the awards this year, um, we've got MVP, Most Improved Player, Captains, and then our Golden Boot Award. Uh, first off, we'll do Golden Boot Awards. The boys' uh, Golden Boot Award this year, we actually had a three-way tie. We had three boys that scored six goals each this year, which was Hamza, Nate, and Amar. Uh, Amar, <laughs> I have a feeling you would have probably gotten it had you not missed some of those games, but um, unfortunately, I, I feel bad for you in that end and feel bad for the team, but uh, without sounding cold, it is what it is, but you guys did a great job. Um, we scored, we struggled to score goals in the past this year. That uh, definitely was not the case. So uh, you guys did great. So those are our three Golden Boot Award winners. Um, our captains this year was Hamza, Amar, and Dylan. Fellas, uh, you did a great job as filling in the roles of captain, which is that you've got to set the example and take care of the players off the pitch and on the pitch and all that bit. You did a great job. I loved having you as captains representing the team and very, very good. Uh, most improved player this year. Um, it was uh, close to unanimous, but not quite, but it was definitely close. And our most improved player is Max this year. Uh, Max, like I said, uh, your improvement was uh, unbelievable. I mean, you did great. Uh, loved having you on the team. Uh, you definitely filled into your role real well, and I can only see nothing but a lot more playing time for you next year. Did a great job, Max. Well done. And the most valuable player this year, which was pretty darn close to unanimous, is Hamsa. Hamsa, uh, great job this year. Uh, you stepped up and just did a, like I said, just did a fantastic job. So, fellas, um, everybody on the team loved, really, really enjoyed coaching you guys this year. And um, I'm looking forward again to it next year. So, uh, congratulations to the boys' uh, soccer team of 2020. Thank you. Hello, my name is Tom Dragon, and I am the head coach for the girls uh, varsity soccer team for Evansville Day School for the year 2020. Uh, what I'd like to do is recap the year uh, this year for the girls and uh, highlight each of the kids on what they brought to the park each day and um, and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, the thing that I really have a lot of respect for the girls this year is that we went through a whole season uh, with 11 players. Um, what was unfortunate is we ended up going to sectionals with uh, nine players. Uh, but it, fortunately for us, we were able to play against another team that only had nine players also. And what was nice to see is that when we were able to play against another team that was basically in the same boat we were, we did extremely well. Um, ended up winning our, uh, our our sectional game, made it to the semifinals with nine players. And on, even on our semifinal uh, game, the girl, she did great. Um, it, this was one of those seasons you could say against all odds, not only in the amount of players we had, but obviously with the pandemic and girls being injured and not having that chance of having a sub. I am so proud of you and uh, just proud of you and extremely proud of the team this year because regardless of what uh, was in front of us, you guys always stepped up and said, we're going to give it a go, and uh, I really love that. Okay, uh, girls this year that will highlight, um, Rosemary, you'll be the first one to talk about. Um, uh, new to the team this year, came in a bit timid and finished off very strong. Uh, unfortunately, she finished off strong enough that she started going in much harder and on tackles and ended up becoming, getting injured from it. So uh, I, I felt bad for Rosemary. It was stung for the team because uh, she was definitely becoming a, a, a significant factor for us. But uh, Rosie, you did great this year. Uh, loved having you in the mix. The thing I love is that you're only a freshman this year. So uh uh, I'm looking for some uh, big things for you in the next few years, but you did a great job. Uh, Trista played goalkeeper for us this year and uh, on the job training. <laughs> and what a fantastic job you did this year. I did have some comments from some referees about what Trista brought to the park and her uh, significance on the team. And wow, what a job, Trista, you did this year. Um, I'm loving that you're only a freshman this year. And I've got you for three more years, but Trista, fantastic job. Uh, and uh, I'm looking for big things from you next year. Uh, Megan, um, you ended up playing as an outside midfielder for us. Um, you essentially just starting off on your soccer career, and I think you did a fantastic job. 
Um, I love uh, your effort every day in practice. Love that uh, you were able to handle the heat when it was brought to you, on to you by your coach on things that you needed to do. And I love the way you stepped up. So, uh, Trista, you did a great job this year and love seeing you again in the mix for the next three years. Uh, Jessica. Uh, Jessica, from what I found out, was the reason why she was playing is because uh, Megan talked her into it. And uh, Jessica was... Uh, at the beginning of the season, I would say you were out of your element and finished off where you did fantastic. Uh, love how much you improved, um, with your attitude every day, and you were there every day that you could be. And I really loved it that you were obviously that you were there, but uh, without you in the mix, it would have been questionable if we would have been able to have a team this year. And I really appreciate you stepping up for the girls and really hope that you decide to uh, stick in there for the next three years. Um, Ellie Kissel, Ellie, uh, it's only your second year playing on the high school level, obviously, and did a fantastic job for us as a um, striker, used you as a midfielder a bit too, and um, but just love that really uh, don't stop attitude. You fight really hard. I uh, love the, if you want to call it the chippiness that you bring to the uh, field every day, and um, I know you'll get out there and compete with, it doesn't matter whom you're going at, and um, the harder the competition is, the harder you try, and I absolutely love that about you. So. Ellie, great job this year, um, and love have, love that we're going to have you for the next uh, uh, three or the next next two years. All right, Maddie, um, Maddie, uh, you ended up playing as a midfielder for us and did a great job. I think I started you off at striker at the beginning, and then we ended up uh, having you play as a flanking mid. And as the season went along, uh, you definitely came into your own and did a fantastic job. Um, I, mean, I mean, it's just simply that. Maddie, you did a very, very good job. Love the improvement that you had, and I love that we're going to have you for the next couple of years. Um, Sabina, wow, talk about an improvement from your freshman year till now. It's like, uh, holy smoke, it, you were so very good. Um, what was nice to see about your improvement is that you were definitely one of those players that's improved. I'd say out of my 39 years of coaching, you're definitely in the top 5% on improvement from just your uh, presence on the field, the way you're striking the ball, the way you're reading the game. I mean, everything is there. Uh, looks like you're going to be playing sweeper force next year, and I feel very confident going into next year knowing that you're going to be the one that's uh, anchoring the back. But uh, Sabina, loved having you in the mix this year and love that you're going to be in the game next year. Um, Haya, Haya, almost, you almost slipped away from us this year. Uh, she went into the season thinking, I don't think I'm going to be able to because I've got to work. We were able to work that out, and holy smoke, Haya, you, uh, you and Sabina played as the two central midfielders for us for a while, and as long as you two were in there, we were okay, and just did a fantastic job. Um, hey, you were, um, I love how much you've improved also. You and Sabina, you know, the same thing about Sabina is, is, is with you, is that you're where you were in junior high, because I definitely remember that, and where you are now, you're two completely different people. Loved it. You just did a fantastic job and uh, love that you're going to be in there for uh, again next year. Um, Ava um, went from goalkeeper extraordinaire last year to uh, stopper extraordinaire this year. So uh, you did a great job as stopper this year. Your attitude is very good. Love that, um, you know, it's like your attitude with the other girls and all that bit is so very good. And um, you just bring a lot of positive things to the park. Love you as a player. You're a very strong player. Um you definitely, uh, just seeing you on the field, you know that you know what you want to do, and uh, you did a great job as a stopper, and look forward to having you again next year. Um, Cece, uh, loved having you back this year. Um, you did a great job filling in as that outside back role. It stunk that uh, we weren't able to have you at the end of the season, really felt bad for you, and I think we would have definitely been stronger <clears throat> on that last game of the season with having you in the mix, but unfortunately that wasn't to be, so... Um, but definitely loved having you uh, with the girls this year. Love your smile every day. Uh, love your attitude every day. And um, uh, you, it was just really nice having you back in the mix. Lily, you did a great job this year. Um, definitely the mainstay of the, the defense and the reason why we were able to stay in games. Um, so very good this year. Uh, your career at Evansville Day School started off with a solid team and it just got stronger and stronger and stronger. And then you go from um, being ranked third in the state on a team to a team that uh, it was literally in the rebuilding stages. And I loved what your attitude was coming in every day. And it wasn't a thing of, 
uh, looking at the past, you definitely um, embraced what we had this year. And um, I think you were a positive influence on the rest girls on the team, but obviously a positive influence on the uh, uh, on the day school community. And it was just, uh, you were solid, so very good, and will definitely be missed. So uh, that was the girls for this year. The awards this year for the girls. Um, <clears throat> Let's see here. Captain this year was Lily. Um, Lily, you did a great job. What I ask for captains is that um, you step up to the plate, uh, be a good role model for the younger players, look out for the younger players when you step on, have some class when you play. And that was nothing but you. I mean, you had a lot of class when you played and uh, loved having you in the mix. Um, Lily scored uh, four goals, I believe it was, in our last game, which earned her. She ended up getting six goals total on the season. Uh, so she nipped out Ellie on the Golden Boot Award this year. But Lily, as a, a sweeper, you ended up winning the Golden Boot Award. And the reason why we were able to do that is in our uh, last game of the season, uh, since we were playing against another team that had the same amount of players we did, we tried to move uh, Lily up front, and it paid big dividends for us. And uh, she did a great job. So our Golden Boot this year for the girls is Lily. Uh, most improved this year is uh, Megan. Megan, uh, where you were at the beginning to where you finished off at the end, uh, definitely hands down the most improved player. So very good. Um, loved what you brought. Loved the intensity you had. Never stop attitude. So uh, love that uh, you'll be in the next for the uh, you'll be in the mix for the next few years. And then our most um, our most valuable player this year was a unanimous from the girls, which is uh, Lily Burke. So Lily, congratulations on winning the MVP this year. Uh, you were so valuable to the team that if you weren't in the mix, especially with only 11 players, but if we were going to go into a game and it was difficult and we were only going in with 10, chances are we were going to hold off uh, with not having you in the mix because uh, you were definitely a uh, solid uh, force on the team. So uh, congratulations, Lily, your uh, 2020 MVP for day school. And um, girls, uh, just a great year this year. Uh, really enjoyed coaching you. I finished off the year. Yeah, I'd love to have had more wins and all that bit, but we went into some games and you did what we were. I was hoping you would, that we would frustrate some teams. And uh, we actually won a couple of games I didn't think we were going to. And so you uh, over exceeded definitely my expectations. And uh, hopefully you ended up having a very positive year. And I'm, I know I did. And it was very enjoyable. So uh that's what we've got for the girls' soccer team this year and look forward to coaching you guys again next year. Thank you. We're doing a recap on the 2020 Evansville Day School tennis team. Um, we had an amazing year. I really enjoyed uh, everything about it. Had a great time with Braden, uh, Evan Rigney, uh, Tyler Willem uh, Ham, and also with um, Connor, and um, I loved the 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 new guys. Reed Stobbins was amazing, and the new guys that showed up a couple weeks into the season, um, Grant Brandt, uh, Bivens, and Woolsey were awesome. So. Coach Shane Sable here. Um, I'm just talking about the team this year at day school. Awesome year. And um, so most valuable player and captain, Braden Christie, getting ready to go and play college tennis. Did well in his uh, ACTs. Great, did great at tennis. Great kid. He's going to do well next level. Um, so working with him and then, um, on the most improved side, Connor Boyle, God, he got a lot better. Great kid. Awesome. So Braden was an awesome kid. I met him. I was working with him before I took the job and loved working with him and loved, um, getting him better, working on certain volume, transitioning, all that stuff with a kid that grew from five, five to six, four in a couple years. Um, Worked, I'm still working with him a lot um, to go to the next level. Um, Reed Stobbins was a great addition and helped me and helped me um, connect with everybody on the team and what have you. His father was awesome too. And then um, Evan Rigney, I knew him since Tri-State. Um, great kid, big wins. Helped out a ton and even keel throughout. 
great number two player all year. And uh, Ty was awesome at three. Um, had a lot of tough big matches. And just easy to work with. The parents were easy. Parents were fun. All my coaching attendance last 20 some odd years, these parents and these players, these coaches were all great to work with. And then, um, you know, so Stobbin's dad says, Shane, we got a couple of guys that will join. So we had um, Brant Woolsey and uh, Grant Bivens come on the team as well a week or two after, you know, practice season, what have you. They were just helping out. Love them. Cool, very cool dudes. We're total team players and learned a ton, got way better. And the whole team just had a cohesive unit. And we had fun every day of practice, every match. And, I mean, every coach should be so lucky to have worked with uh, a group like this, of parents, of players, obviously, athletic director Tom Dragon and the administration. Loved it. Loved it all. So, thank you um, to my team. Most improved player, Connor. Most valuable, Braden and Captain Braden. Thank you so much, uh, Evansville Day School, for this year. Thank you, boys. Good luck in the future. It was awesome. Hello, I'm Rob Foster, and this year I was the high school cross-country coach for Evansville Day School, and I'd like to talk to you about some of the students that participated with the team this season. Um, first, I'd like to highlight Trista Browning, Megan Ryswick, and Connor Boyle. Uh, the three of them came this summer, did a lot of the workouts in July and early August, uh, but then were needed on other teams to help out, uh, so the girls' soccer team and the boys' tennis team. But just want to say a quick thank you for, for coming and working out with the team in the summer. It was really appreciated. Um, another athlete, Jesse Kunst, mainly did soccer, but was able to come to workouts periodically. Actually participated in two of our races this year. Uh, did a really good job at Gibson Southern and then, and, uh, then really helped us out at sectional championships. So, again, really appreciate, you know, just kind of the effort of coming out and, and helping out the team when you were able. Um, Austin Boyle, freshman that I had run for me this year. Another one participated in soccer, but then really made a, a huge effort to get to both soccer practice and cross-country practice whenever he could. Um, ended up being our number three runner this year as a freshman on the team. Um, Look forward to working with you over the next few years. Uh, you just have such a strong work ethic. Keep it up and uh, hopefully get to see a track season. Um, another freshman this year worked with, ran with us was Nathan Foster, uh, obviously one of my sons. Nathan did a fantastic job of transitioning from the middle school 3K distance to the 5K. It's a lot harder workout. Uh, he ended up having our fifth fastest time this year on the team. Um, and I was asking a lot of freshmen, but uh, Nathan really appreciated all the effort you put in. I know it can, can get hot in these summer days when we're running, but thank you so much. And, and I appreciate everything. Can't wait to see you next season. I hopefully get to have a good track season with you. Um, another runner this year for us, uh, another one of my sons, my Brandon Foster, a junior, uh, co-captain of the team. Kind of did a lot of the behind the scenes things for me, helping get uh, equipment ready for races. Brandon actually ended up being our number four runner on the team. Uh, transitioning back into cross country after kind of taking some time off from it. But I appreciate everything you did. And also uh, congratulations on your selection as uh, the first team academic all state for cross country. Just a testament to what you do in the classroom and, and, and really appreciate all the academic effort you put in at school. Thank you so much. Um, I want to talk quickly about Noah Regani, a new runner that we had. Uh, Wow, just a, a fantastic runner. Somebody who just constantly wants to strive to improve. Um, Noah, this year you were the recipient of our Most Improved Runner Award. You came in kind of not where you wanted to be time-wise, I think, running in the 19-minute range early in the season. Worked yourself down to 17.43, uh, ended up being the fastest time we had this season. Qualified out of the sectional championships and raced in the regional championships. Really, really enjoyed coaching you this year. Look forward to having you on the team next year. Actually, really look forward to seeing you track, uh, and hopefully we'll have a good next two years. And last but not least, uh, Tyler Meyer. Tyler is the second year that I got to coach you. Um, I know you were fighting a knee injury kind of towards the end of the season, which is hard to, to, to deal with in cross country. Uh, Tyler, though, you still qualified out of the sectional championships. 
You made it to the regional championships. You were a co-captain. You were a leader on and off the field to the runners. And for that, you are the most valuable runner this year for Edsel Day School's high school cross country team. My hat's off to you for just your, your spirit to continually want to improve the way you just circled up the runners at races, talk to them about you know strategy before each run, and just try to get everybody to improve to be better. Keep that up. I look forward to coaching you next year. I look forward to seeing you in a track season. And uh, hopefully everybody has a, a, a great, great winter season with whatever sport you're moving on to. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching with us. We are so grateful for the hard work each of our students brought to their teams this season. As you can see, many of our students play multiple sports. And that is a testament to their work ethic. As a small school, it takes a lot of overlap to offer a variety of sports and each of our students are willingness to give more than the, more of their time and energy to help field teams is outstanding. Thank you to all of our athletes and a huge thank you to our parents. You give so much of your time cheering us on, dropping the kids off at practice. We could not thank you enough for your support. Thank you.